getting a little bit more cloudy than I expected. Or wanted. But we'll see what happens. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is navigate so that uh, Ticonderoga passes nicely on our right. Or sometimes called our left. Okay. So we just want to be on the west side, on the west bank of, um, of the lake. So this is the south end of Lake Champlain here, if I remember correctly. It's funny, um, well actually not funny, it makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. Uh, any place I've, I've flown to, uh, you always see these patchwork fields by rivers, always. And when I say that, um, I haven't flown a lot of places at all. I've really stuck to uh, New England at this point, being realistic, quote-unquote realistic about it. But uh, I specifically remember this exact patchwork of fields uh, by the Nile for example. So it's just everywhere. Everywhere there's water. Alright. See where we're going. There's 46. This is where Fort Ticonderoga is going to be. So... There we go. <laughs> By the way, this is dirt on our window shield, not anything. <laughs> Uh, flying by uh, the uh, the lake. Let's take a look at our and Yeah, so this is now four miles from here to here. And there's our airport right here. Just seeing the uh, the lights, the runway lights. That's not the airport we're landing at. That's the airport that I'm using as a uh, guidepost to Ticonderoga.
There we go. And like I said, they can just be a single strip of asphalt. Now, the question is, have they rendered Ticonderoga? Sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. Ah, and there it is. There's Ticonderoga. There's the fort. ourselves down this lake. And in maneuvering ourselves down that lake. Yeah, we're going to get nicely low on that lake. There we go. So we'll come down to 2,500. We're going to lose about a thousand feet here. What I'm looking to do is really fly close so that uh, we're going to be going over the lake and we're going to be within the hills on either side. So we're going to be slaloming down this lake. Twenty-eight hundred hours, car. That's terrifying.
All right, that's pretty nice. So that's 2,500 feet right there. Yes, Subnautica can be Subnautica can be so tense because all of a sudden you're you're nicely going around and there's this huge fish that's trying to eat you. <laughs> now people just coming into the stream are gonna wonder what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, hills are nice. Oh, now what is that? Oh, Bolton Landing. And you can just see a windmill right here. Okay, we are within the airspace of uh, 
Floyd Bennett Memorial Airport right now. See if we can start to see it. Yeah, there it is right here. Now this is going to be a visual uh, landing, of course. Floyd Bennett doesn't have anything. A, we're on VFR rules, but Floyd Bennett I don't think has anything approximating uh, an ILS landing side. of the other uh, runway. So we're in our final uh, final things here for uh, for this second leg of the trip. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you tie with him while I fly. Okay, good. <laughs> Flood Bennett traffic, November 143, Charlie Alpha, on final to runway 19. Alright, we're gonna kill the, uh, kill the autopilot here. There we go. Kill our engine a bit. Let's get flaps going.
here we go. Full flaps. Flat, 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 flat. SPU car. Could not have been this, uh, this high in the air. But, looks like we're fine. Floyd Bennett Memorial, traffic, November 143 Trail Alpha, on final runway 19. Plug that traffic, November 143, Charlie Alpha, landed runway 19. No idea what taxiway this is. Floyd Memorial, November 143 Trail Alpha, left runway 19, taxiing taxiway B. All right, and we just pick anything here. Let's just move forward just a bit. Come on, there we go. Actually, I'll make it easier on myself. There we go. And there we are, nicely parked. And there's our parking brake. 
everything off. Let's turn the fuel off. Yeah, it's going to start complaining and there we go.